Well, welcome anybody who's out there. This is Michael and also Candida is going to be joining us in a second. And we're going to be uh, performing uh, some lots of different musics, mainly influenced by uh, Mongolian music. And uh, we'd like to thank Hugh uh, for inviting us to this Solstice Festival. And um, this first piece, as Candida is going to appear in a minute, she's operating the technology. Um, she knows all the Facebook stuff. <laughs> Uh, it's going to be called Nidanar Kumbar, and it's uh, part of uh, so it's treasure bars, one of the eight auspicious symbols. And we did have an album with that on, Ashta Mangala. And within that, there is a, a blessing, a Mongolian blessing, basically for uh, well being and, and, and good health and good fortune, basically. Um, he mori. So, um, without further ado, I hope you can uh, enjoy the, the performance. Oh, 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 oh,
you very much. So we're doing different styles of uh, humi singing there. There was some humi, some overtone singing, and then there was in Mongolia, Hahira, Kagira, in Tuva, uh, and that was a tune that we made up uh, quite a while ago, so we're just sort of remembering it all. And while I get myself together, Candace is going to introduce next. I just want to say that there's a blessing, the hooray, hooray, there's a way the Mongolians sort of end something with a blessing. So. Yeah, it's a very important uh, thing. Um, what are we doing? So next uh, yes. piece uh, is called thing. Eva's Tune. Uh, and this is another one from a while back. And uh, I was in Wales working with uh, some dancers and some musicians, and we were up on a hill and looking into the distance and a little melody came in to uh, uh, my mind and then it got translated down in the um, dance studio and this amazing thing happened and uh, Eva was pregnant at the time and so some words came out a little bit later <coughs> excuse me and then we will go into a Tuvan melody but our sort of version of Kungure which is sort of about singing about your homeland and then we're going to do a bit of it all works out electronic shamanica stuff so a little bit longer than the three minute pop song. Shine through each one of us. 
So this next piece is just going to be um, <coughs> quite short. <coughs> After that, I'll get my voice together, um, and it's going to be just in honour of Seventh Hour, who's my Mongolian Humi teacher. Um, it is a long time ago when I went to Mongolia. It was 1993 was the first time, and I was very, very fortunate to be there. And so I'm going to sing two melodies, uh, traditional Mongolian melodies in Humi singing. Uh, one Gandhi mod, which is uh, it's got too much reverb on here, isn't it? Um, Gandhi Mod, which is a um, song about a tree, but really a love song, and then also uh, Hotgoid Unano, Hotgoid Fall, and it's a wonderful racehorse that came from the Hotgoid region of uh, Mongolia.
Thank you. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> it is very we wish you could be here in our house. We wish we could be somewhere else. We wish we could be outdoors. And, uh... Although our instruments don't like being outdoors. Although some more instruments <laughs> do. And, uh, but uh, we're still trying to feel you uh, uh, out there in the uh, interweb. So this next one uh, is called Soul to Save. Maybe while I set this loop up, Candida will help me out. Soul to Save, if you'd like to put, yeah, is, um, is a, a track we did on Chintamani, which is a really old CD of ours. Um, and it was dedicated to our dear friends, uh, Wadada and Angel Eye from Sons of Arca. Sons of Arca were the, probably one of the foremost initial bands that did mixed reggae with Indian rag music and Celtic music. They were like the forerunners of any of of that type of sound. And so um, we were fortunate enough to have been on a few of their albums, and so we thought we'd mi remix their Soul to Save and do it our way. So, so this is it. And it features a lovely Tibetan bowl, the Turkish neigh, and then just the words say, uh, Soul to Save. And, uh, and then we'll introduce a, a yes. very snippet of a gong, prepared gong in actual fact, and then I'll um, just recite a very short version of the Medicine Buddha, Buddha Mantra. So that's for healing for all sentient beings.
<laughs> okay. So, another one of the eight auspicious symbols uh, are two golden fishes, and they're for happiness and abundance. And so, um, we created the piece again on for the uh, Ashtamangala album <coughs> that uses this uh, Uluzi, or reed flute, from Yunnan province in southern China. And then Candida could be playing uh, a singing bowl, and uh, then also she can be playing an Indian banjo. You all okay with that? I've got to turn the things on. <laughs> so I didn't that, do it on. Turn that off. Turn that one off. <laughs> and then you got that on, haven't you? Yeah.
Thank you. I've got lots of time. <laughs> I'm going to do uh, just a little bit more of her, maybe. Uh, the um, uh, white one. Well, okay, we'll do a little bit more of her. We're going a lot bigger than we thought. <laughs> That's okay. We can do a fill in. Is there any plans for certain songs? <laughs> do you want some do more? <laughs> we don't know if you want some more. No, we have got another we can't, one. We can't monitor at the moment what's happening online. We'll, we'll do White Swan then. But we'll do a White Swan. Um. There's a musical instrument called a, a, a kobuz, and it has a relative called the kilkiak. And I was in uh, Kyrgyzstan, and I do have a kilkiak, uh, but I heard a fantastic kobuz player play in London, and she took me away. And so this is trying to just uh, connect with her fantastic energy. Uh, and also, my kilkiak, its bridge, when I was playing the other day, went and broke. So at the moment, uh, my lovely uh, friends uh, from Kyrgyzstan, Yusuf, uh, and also Ilona, who's Kyrgyz but lives in Switzerland, are trying to get me a new one. So uh, I've tried to fix it, but uh, it's not easy to come by, uh, particularly in the way it's at the moment. <laughs> so this is just an honour. All those wonderful Central Asian uh, string uh, uh, players who are just uh, amazing. And the first one of the kabuzis um, would, would have had, and some of the kabuzis would have had some metal, much smaller than the one that Candid has got on the top and according to some of the performance the first kobos player was their version of a, a shaman a bach uh, so um here we go white swan to all of that <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Well, we'll do our tie and stuff, and then we'll do that one afterwards. Okay. I remember it. <laughs> well, we, only, we only did it the other day. So, we've got this um, abnormally finale piece, which is our time now. This may be my vocal. <laughs> I'm going to play a Jaws harp, or a G's harp. And it was played in Dombra, which is from oh. Kazakhstan. And it's just two strings, a uh, two string lute. Out of tune. And out of tune. And then I was, well, we were gifted this beautiful, I know all you vegans out there will not like this, but we received it from our musician friends in Kyrgyzstan, this horn, um, which I'll play. And we're going to do a praise to the Altai Mountains in Mongolia where. Pumi singing comes from a sort of ridge of mountains that run from Tuva all the way down into Mongolia. And this is where Pumi singing was supposed to have been evolved and created. And um, then we're going to move into a song that I was taught uh, by a Kyrgyz musician when we toured in 2015 with all these wonderful musicians. And um, it's called In the Village, and it's about a man who plays the kilkiak and woos all these young ladies through his music. So um, I'm going to sing a couple of verses of that <laughs> and then we'll go from there. <laughs> Thank you. 
Celebrating different faiths and traditions. So it starts with Hallelujah and then it goes to Sita Ram and then Malakim, which is the Jewish, then Allahu, the Muslim, and then Peace be with you and then Namaste. So if you want to join in, please, please do. As we've got a few minutes left. And 
just to say, we do have CDs. Um, I know this is a don I know this is a donation uh, festival, so please do make your offerings if you feel inclined to. Um, but we do have CDs, and they're all on our website, www.soundtransformations.co.uk. And uh, yeah, we, we have many CDs over 20 years. <laughs> well, thank you so much for listening. And uh, um, I think everybody can give a remote round of applause to Canada. Hooray! <laughs> yeah, <the> remote, <laughs> remote thank to you. Michael. And uh, let's hope we can all hear and be in the flesh sooner than later.
Thank you, everybody. Thank you. You all take care. Enjoy the rest of the festival. And God yeah. bless.